Hello staff and students of Mammoth Heights Elementary. I am Kyle Clark. You may know me from Nine News. You don't know me from Nine News. Your parents may know me from Nine News. Today is Friday, October 27th, 2017, and this is Good Morning Mammoth Heights. Oh, uh, uh, wait a second. Excuse me. Excuse me. My name is Mr. Holtlore. They know me as Mr. H, and this is my show. But you know what? Kyle Clark, we do appreciate you being here today. Yeah. Because today we're going to talk about the word cooperation. Cooperation. And collaboration. And I think, and since we're both wearing the same coat, we can collaborate and we can cooperate and make this the best Good Morning Mammoth Heights Elementary show ever. Let's do, do it. Let's do it. Let's do this together. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with us. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, Kyle Clark, what do we have on the lunch menu for today? Let's talk about lunch today. Popcorn chicken, pretzel Bosco stick, whatever in the world that is, hot dogs and fries. Lucky all of you. Tasty lunch today. Awesome, and since we are talking about cooperation, that's the word we're talking about today, what does that mean to be a student who cooperates and collaborates here at Mammoth Heights Elementary? Well, students who cooperate will organize and use materials cooperatively. Students who cooperate offer help to other students, like Kyle's offering help today. Students who cooperate will participate in choir, band, student council, and they'll perform student safety patrol greeters. And they'll be, even be on the sports team. And you know what? When you're on a sports team, you look alike because you're wearing the same uniform. Look at us. Just like this. He we starts. Ready. I'm on the bench. But we cooperate. We cooperate. All right. We got birthdays today, Kyle. Let's do birthdays. Big happy birthday to Emily Warren Coleman. Big happy birthday to Peyton St. Cyr. Happy birthday to Adrian Valdez Espinoza. And over the weekend, cannot forget my girl, Haley Smiley. Happy birthday, Haley. Happy birthday to everybody. You can come on down in the office and get a happy birthday pencil at this time. But they need to make sure they get their parents' permission, or their teacher's permission first. Oh, to come down yes. to get the pencil. That's yeah, important yeah, for sure. Okay, for our other announcements today, continue to bring in those socks for Socktober. Those are going straight to our Parker Task Force, and that's being sponsored by our National Elementary Honor Society. Okay, Student Council Food Drive begins on Monday, and we're very excited to introduce and bring to you Jerry Pallotta, a children's author, will be doing some assemblies on Monday. So we are very excited about that. Okay, so why is Kyle Clark here? As you can see, I was watching Next the other day, and I saw he had the same coat that you guys have seen me wear before. I like this coat because it's chaparral colors and it's pretty stylish. I like this coat because it was inexpensive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. Well, I challenged Kyle Clark on Twitter to appear on my show to see who wore it better. And guess what? He accepted. So at this time, I'm going to ask all our teachers to kind of count the hands of our kids on who wore it better. Kyle, I'm going to let you have the floor. Go ahead. Does Kyle wear this coat better than me? Look at him. Listen, I understand that your principal, Mr. H, may fill out the coat a little bit better than I do. And I understand that you may be called down to his office and have to look him in the eye someday. But that's no reason not to vote the honest truth, which is that I look fantastic in this coat, and you know it. So let's hear it, folks. Who wore it best? I would have to agree with that. When I did challenge him on Twitter, I think I may have just messed with the bull, and I think I just got the horns. But guess what? Boys and girls, now it's my time. You know me as Mr. H. You've seen me in this jacket before. I actually wore it in August, so I think I may have wore it first. All right, so remember that. And matching oh. Air Jordan 1s. Matching Air Jordan 1s. Not ones. quite matching. Okay. Yeah. All right. So teachers, get some votes from your students. Send me the results, and we'll get those results on the show on Monday. All right. Well, that concludes our show for today, Kyle. All right. I hope you all continue to be a positive ambassador for Mammoth Heights Elementary. Exhibit empathy with all your classmates and demonstrate a love of learning each and every day. And remember, dream, 
strive, become, because that is the Mammoth Heights way. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much, Kyle. That hey, was amazing. My pleasure. Bye, everyone. Be good. Woo!